men need to understand that their sons and daughters need them in their life for that transition. From my, from my point of view, I'm not saying that this is facts and I'm not saying this is science. From what I see, a male needs his father in his life from the age of 15, 16, and 17. I believe that is because that's the most influential age in a young boy's life, especially in the inner city. That's when you, you get off the porch, you start meeting friends, and the wrong influences can influence a child. And if a child has his father in the household, he might be scared to make some of these decisions that will be a detriment to him or his future. So if you are 14 years old and you meet a friend that smokes weed and your father's not in the house, you might feel like, oh, my mother is a woman. I could run over her because you, you, you see your father run over her. So you might smoke weed and try to mask it or, or, or don't care. But if your father is in the house and he's present in the household, you might think twice because you might say, my father going to whip my ass if I come in here smelling like weed because he don't play that. That's why I say those years are the most important for young black men to have their fathers. Now, I say for little girls because... This ain't just about little boys. Little girls grow up without their father too. And they head on a path of destruction. And I'm going to get into that. But I just want to say this. When a little girl is 17, 18, and 19, I believe that's when they need their fathers the most because numbers say the girls finish high school at a, at a higher rate than boys and they're more focused. But now when your daughter is supposed to go to school and she has that freedom because she's like in a college setting or even in high school, that's when the, the, and then you're not there. So now a guy can whisper in her ear, tell her sweet nothings, lead her down a path of destruction. And since her father's not there, she's looking for the father in a man. Mm. So, if the father is there, she will have a conscientious decision to make about boys because she knows her father's looking over her and protecting her. And you can give your daughter the advice that she needs to succeed in society. So for me, those ages is the difference between boys growing up without a father and girls growing up without a father. Again, the numbers say Children raised in a fixed home has a higher uh, 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 success rate. So, again, if every man that has a baby by a woman is not going to be together. But co-parenting should be at least on the table right, and, so get, and, and coexisting. My, here's my question for you. And I, I believe you said you also know of some men who are deadbeat dads. And if you don't, I um, do. Okay, so... I do. All right, so do do they know that they're deadbeat dads? Or do they think they're... Because remember, my, my father has a different memory. Your father has a different memory. And they thinking that they're doing a great job. So my question is, do the people that you know who are deadbeat dads, do they know right now that they're doing a terrible job as a dad? All right, I'm going to phrase it like this. Either you was raised with a father or you was raised without a father. Either way, you know how each dynamic is, depending on what you had. If you were raised without a father, right, and that means you know what it feels like, you know how everything feels to be alone as far as a young child without their father. So now when you have a child, you must take that in consideration. How am I parenting with my child? How did I feel as a child? Now that's to say, if you didn't have a father, if you had a father in your life, you still say to yourself, how am I parenting as a child? Because now you know what's right from wrong. 
So the difference is a person who never had a father in their life and is a deadbeat and don't know their deadbeat, that's what I'm exactly trying to change because, again, like I told you, the effects of the child. So now we might have a man that was not raised by a man and raised by a deadbeat. And now in turn, he's a deadbeat. So he might not know any better. And that's why we have to inform them on the effects that it's giving their child. So what I'm trying to do is not more or less bash the deadbeat, I'm trying to inform the deadbeat because our children are the future. And the only way to stop this cycle is information. Yeah, and the well, information. About, I mean, you got most of the deadbeats that we're trying to inform here. Let's be honest. Like most of them, mm -hmm. I bet you the leading reason to why most deadbeats say that they're deadbeats, if they admit it, is because of the woman. Right? The woman, yeah. they got beef with the woman, and the woman ain't, she ain't trying to let me do this, and she crazy, and I ain't even trying to deal with all that. How do we get them past that? How do we get, I, f I feel that if we do inform them, I do feel that some can be transformed, and some can go out and do the right thing, and, and make it through the heat. I do. But we let also- me explain. Let me explain to separate the child from the mother and so, we got to be able to do that let me explain something to you back in the days right the court system wasn't as prevalent as it is today in the family setting what i mean by that is the old school woman would just take it but now when a man doesn't pay for his child's upbringing, a woman takes him to court and she gets child support. But there's a flip side to that. <laughs> if you're not, if you can't co-parent with the female, which is your child's mother, you can also go to court and get visitation rights. But that's got to be something that's in your heart and that you want to do. See, the, on, the man that does that wants to be a father, wants to see their child, wants to have these bonds. So you can take the woman element out of it today, but that's something that you want to do. Now, if you feel like, oh, she took me to child support, so I'm in return, I'm not going to ask for visitation rights, that says something about you as a person. I cannot blame a woman for what's inside of you. That is nothing but an excuse to not see a child. Because if you really want to see a child, the court will permit it. So when a guy says, oh, my baby's mother, that's just a poor excuse for really what he's trying to say is, I don't give a damn. So at the end of the day, just like how the woman can use the court, to get child support, the man could get use the court to get visitation rights. So for me, that's not even a, a, a thought. Like, I don't want to hear that from a man. A man can't tell me I can't see my child because my baby mother is crazy. Well, take her crazy ass to court. Because it, is it more important that you telling me that she's crazy or are you telling the judge that she's crazy? Because the main objective is to see your child, raise your child, and have these bonds with your child. Hmm. Uh, all right, what are some of the characteristics of a deadbeat? Let's maybe we can help some people identify if they are deadbeats. Like, what are some things that deadbeats don't do for their children? They they don't come around they don't they don't have a, a a bond with the child like they don't they can't give the child advice they don't have feelings like natural father instincts for the child but a trait is i'm gonna tell you what men do they will support the woman that they're with child but won't support their own child. That's a trait. I've seen that happen a billion times. Hold up, say that again. Men, 
they will support the a woman that they're actually in a relationship with their children have relationships with that the woman that they're in relationship with children but not their own that's a trait of a deadbeat wow a lot of men feel like if i can't have the woman then i don't want nothing to do with the situation and that's not fair to the child mm. yes the relationship with the mother plays a big part in a man being a deadbeat all right so what about the woman this ain't on the deadbeat part but i am curious to know how you feel about women bashing the deadbeat okay we know he's a deadbeat one thing my mother did not do even though she felt this sort of way and i knew this growing up she never bashed his inactivity how do you feel about that he is i mean if there's no inactivity of course it's the truth but how do you feel about the mothers bashing the the deadbeat in front of the children? Either way, the child will grow up with those feelings eventually. Now, that's the mother's natural feelings. I can't say she's wrong for bashing him because this is an emotional connection that got ripped away from her. And when women sit and have a baby for nine months, they have an emotional connection to the child. But they decide to have this baby with this man. So obviously they had an emotional connection with the man. That's stripped away, but they're left with the child. So of course she's angry. And then if you're in the inner city and you know you have to work and you have to pay all these bills and he's not helping you, but he's living a whole totally other life, that would cause friction and anger. Now, some women choose not to bash their child's father in front of the child. Some women do. Again, the court system is in place now to take care of all of these little nuances of parenting, meaning if you have a child by a woman and you choose not to help her out, the courts will decide how much money you have to give her to help her out. If you have a child by a woman and she chooses not to let you see your child, the court will decide how many days you're allotted to see your child. So in today's society, there's no excuse. To not take care of your kids. There's no excuse not to take care of your kid. By hook or by crook, it can get done. And again, our children are raised with this rage and this hatred because they're growing up having to figure out life on their own. All right, here's another Especially, one. Excuse have you, me? Have you ever heard when a father only, he makes the child call him? Have you ever heard that? Where they'll say, the, the father will say, you, you need to call me. You need to call. You don't never call. But the father never calls the child. That's a trait of a deadbeat, too. Okay. Because the child I, shouldn't I, I, have to, I, I, the I, child shouldn't I, I, Let me explain. Right? Hold on for a second. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I've seen that scenario happen a bunch of times, right? So what I'm trying to explain to you is this. If you love your child, you should pick up the phone and ask, how was your day? How's your grades? How's school? How's your mom doing? How are you doing? Are you feeling okay? These are things good fathers want to know about their children. Your child doesn't never have to call you. I mean, it can be a two-way street, but at the end of the day, where's your concern for your child? When a man says to his child, you don't call me, that means he's not very interested in his child's uh, quality of life. That's a big trait, too. You don't call me. Are you playing tip for tap with a child? The children was not asked to be here. This was an hour of pleasure for you, and this is how this child got here. So if anything, 
you owe the child that the child